In today's A-Level and IB biology video, we're going to be looking at the structure and function of blood vessels. So really, we're talking about the arteries, veins and capillaries. So let's start by summarising what they do and how they work. Well, well, arteries carry blood at high pressure. And remember, they carry blood away from the heart to tissues of the body. Next up, we have the veins. These carry blood towards the heart and they carry that blood at low pressure. And then lastly, capillaries carry blood through tissues and they have permeable walls which are essential for the exchange of materials. But now we need to look at their structures in detail. So a close look at the arteries. Well, notice we have a narrow lumen and that ensures that blood is pumped at high pressure. If we look at the diameter or the thickness of the wall, it's thick. Why? To withstand the pressure of that blood flowing in the lumen. What is that thick wall made out of? Well, it contains elastic fibres that maintain the high blood pressure and muscle fibres contract and relax to alter the size of the lumen. And then finally, just mention the tough outer coat. Okay, well, what about veins? The first thing to notice is that they have a wide lumen, hence lower blood pressure. Remember that they also have valves. So if we look at it from a side view, imagine the blood passing through in this direction, while well, those valves will snap back and prevent it flowing backwards. They don't really have a thick, tough outer coat because there's no real danger of the vessel bursting. They have a thin layer of both muscle and elastic fibres. For the same reason, we don't have a real risk of bursting. So what are we going to point out about the capillaries? Well, remember that they are found within all tissues and they are where exchange of materials occurs. So notice, first of all, that the wall is only one cell thick and this provides a short diffusion distance. If I draw a red blood cell now within, you can see that the size of the lumen is only a tiny bit bigger than that red blood cell. So we can say that we have a very narrow lumen, approximately 10 micrometers. And what that means is you can have very many capillaries in a very small space, which gives a large surface area for exchange of materials. We have a thin layer of endothelium, which provides a very smooth surface. And then lastly, notice these gaps. These are pores, which allow some of the blood plasma to leak. This forms tissue fluid. And notice that the white blood cells, the phagocytes, can also escape here in order to reach the site of infection.